and welcome to another episode of Green Matthews Meet the Instruments. Today I have for you the Shawm. This is the direct ancestor of our modern oboe. It uses a double reed, very much like the modern oboe, and... Okay, the oboe's come a long way, but with the shawm you can hear where it has come from. It was popular as a court instrument from the Middle Ages through to the Renaissance, and it's what we refer to as a consort instrument. Consort is essentially a fancy word for band, usually though of the same types of instruments. The One of the restrictions with certainly woodwind instruments through the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, is that their range of notes is quite limited. So much as we do today with our choirs, we need the soprano, alto, tenor, bass. With woodwind instruments of this period, we have instruments of different sizes to create a kind of full and rich sound when we're composing. So this is an alto shawm. It sort of sits in the middle of the consort. But even though it's a medium-sized instrument, as the instruments get bigger and bigger and bigger, obviously the finger spacing gets further apart as well. And as they get further apart, particularly the hole at the bottom for my little finger has to go so far away that I couldn't possibly reach it. So I need the help of a key here. So let's have a little look at the mechanism. Hiding inside this bit here... It's my key mechanism. So that will help me reach all the way down to the bottom and get that low note. It's the only key that we have on instruments from this period. And the little cage that goes over and protects that delicate key work. These holes here let the sound out, but the cage is called a fontanelle. And that protects everything inside it. So I'm going to play you a piece of Shawm consort music from the 1530s. It's a French piece called Tordillon. <laughs> Thank you. 